Alright, we're set. We're recording. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Kingdom. I'm with Fopsy. We're talking about the 6.77c analysis changelog that Icefrog just put out. It's really short, so hopefully we'll be able to keep this analysis short so that you guys can watch it. Go on with your day. How's it going, Fopsy, by the way? It is going remarkably normally. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to interpret that. Remarkable In and normal seems like an oxymoron. I could be wrong. Positively and credulously average. Okay. <laughs> right. So, I'm just going to read through it really quickly. This is 6.77c. I don't have the Play Dota website up right now because Play Dota is out. Like, I, no one can load the page. So, I have luckily I have the changelog stored somewhere else. Here it is. So, here we go. Trinkle Boots nerf slash buff slash we're not really sure. Trinkle it's, Boots it's, gets... It's reworked. It's okay. reworked in a totally amazing way back to the way it was supposed to be. Right, it was, so it was originally intended. It's, it's been a little misused by the pro scene. Yeah, so Trinkle Boots disabled speed, so once you take four attacks from a hero's damage source, player controlled, actually, not hero. Uh, so Venomancer wards can do this too, or Necronomicon units. Trinkle Boots disabled speed is reduced from 50 to 25. Trinkle Boots heal is increased from 170 to 250, so you get 60 extra health? No, 80 extra health. And the. Uh, However, the cooldown is increased by 20 seconds, and the duration of the heal is increased by 10 seconds. So you actually get HP slower, but you get more in the long run. How does so? Like you said, it was getting misused by pros. What do you think this does to fix that, and how is it getting misused? The general idea behind tranquil boots, or I mean, I can't really, I can't tell you what was an ice frog's head, but I can tell you what I thought at the time is that there was, a, is that I think the general idea was in order to make it an ex, a better esport. Ice Frog wanted the game to be more active, and, and and to help that, he wanted there to be more roaming from supports. So he made a cheaper version of boot, cheaper upgraded version of boots that would help support heroes replenish health while roaming towards another lane faster than with any of the other upgraded boots. Well, yeah, but the problem with this is that it seems to me like this helps carries farm more than it helps supports roam because a carry farming in the jungle is not going to take damage from a player's source and as a result he's going to be able to keep moving at the 50 move speed at the full move speed the support though as soon as he gets into a gank he's going to take damage he's going to get his boots disabled and then he's going to be worthless the gank is going to be significantly harder to make effective he's going to actually get the, the, less the move speed than he would with just a normal boot in his inventory but the the thing is we're, ugh, the, the idea was to try and was to try and move away from large engagements early on in the game at that point where a support at maybe the 10 minute mark can afford he he, he, has, he may, maybe he started with the ring of protection or as soon as he gets boots he, he can eat pretty easily afford the ring of protection and ring of regen so maybe by the 10 or 15 minute mark when carries are still laning and when the solo mid hero is room around, you can get a command gank easily on a lane and then the support can move on yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense in general, but like once you get to the point of like actually ganking and you take a, four points of damage from a non -hero, from a hero source, which is really easy to happen, like especially if you've got an enemy venomance or something like that, your tranquil boots are gonna get shut down, and then your gank gets shut down as well. I don't. I feel like it's that's still the new. That's that's the new tranquil boots. Right. That's what I'm talking about. The, I'm talking about how what the old tranquil boots was intended to be. So is this new Tranquil Boots intended to be something different? I have no idea where the new Tranquil Boots fits. Frankly, I think it's a piece of crap. Yeah, the new Tranquil Boots doesn't help the supports. It does help the carries farming, because, like I said, no, he's not going to... Well, it does, because, I mean... It's he's even worse if your carry is at 25 move speed in an engagement than if your support is at 25 move speed. In fact, well, I would yeah, say but, it's much, much worse. Well, while he's farm anti-mage is AFK farming the jungle, it's fine, because he's not going to take enough damage to disable the Tranquil Boots. And the heal's going to be nice so that he can stay in the jungle longer. I mean, it's going to suck if he gets ganked, and it'll make that a little bit easier. So it is a nerf in that respect, but it's actually a buff in terms of as long as you don't get ganked, you'll be fine. But that's Wars. what Tranquil Boots was to begin with, so I don't think... It's, it's, it's just a rework, I don't think it's really a buff or a nerf. It doesn't really... I'm not... I don't know. I'm a little... I'm going to have to see what happens. I yeah. hope nobody builds it anymore, because I hate it. Oh. <laughs> I hate it with passion. All right. Cuddle nerf. Illuminate mana cost is increased, so it scales by 10 per level, and then the AoE is reduced by 50. Minor, but it is going to be significant as in levels 5 to 7, this is now, if, if you don't max Chakra first, or if you um, keep Chakra at a low level, maybe take Mana Leak, or if you <laughs> if you stay at a low level and you don't get a lot of levels on Coddle, he's going to have a lot of mana problems now. 
he already had some mana issues before he got Chakra up. The AoE reduction is extremely minor. It's not gonna. It's not gonna change a whole lot. You might not be able to hit all the creeps surrounding a tower or a barracks now. Mm-hmm. Is the possibility, but ultimately, it's even with an even with a higher mana cost, it's it's not really going to affect Cod at all. Yeah, I think it's gonna make him. A, I think it is a good balance. It makes it a little bit harder to just spam in the early game, and it also makes it a lot. It makes makes you have to be a lot more careful aiming because before you could just point it in the general direction and ex- honestly expect it to hit everything. Now you have to be a little bit more careful about your aiming. Adds a little bit of skill into it, a little bit more mana consciousness. So I like it. It's it, it's it's a step it's a step in the right direction, but it's just, it's it's not going to affect Coddle's play, and it's it's not significant enough to do that. I mean, it's still it's, it's just, he's still going to get played. It's not like they nerfed him past playing level like they did to Morphling or Mikanthrope. But <laughs> I think this is a good balance. Like it, the Illuminate was a little strong, and now it's fine. I I think this is good. I think this is a right balance. Illuminate was a little bit of a strong spell, and so now Coddle is still useful as a hero. He'll still get picked in the metagame, but I don't think he'll be quite as much first pick, first ban as he has been. Maybe we'll finally see Jakiro again. <coughs> I know. <coughs> Alright, Spike Carapace, <sighs> Nyx Assassin, nerf. Spike Carapace, duration is reduced by half of a second, and the cooldown is increased to a scaling system where it's 23 seconds at level 1 down to the same 14 seconds at level 4. So it means instead of like I would just leave it at level 1, you're going to have to level it now for the cooldown. Um, and it also means that it won't last as long so it'll be easier to kill an ex assassin especially if he's solo mid. Or, and it'll, um, so I think it's a good. I think this is again good. This is... Oh, but no. again it's like it's not significant enough to change Nyx's play. I mean, Nyx's strength doesn't really come from Spike Carapace. Spike Carapace is a great spell, mind you, and it's inc- it's incredibly strong. But I don't think this. I don't know. I miss. I miss. Maybe I'm just being weird and missing Arno Swarm. Well, that was OP as all balls. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, Spike Paragus, I don't think, like, again, I don't think this changes Nyx Assassin's play. It doesn't significantly alter his effectiveness. What it does is it just scales it back a little bit so that it's not like, oh my gosh, if we don't pick Nyx Assassin, we're going to lose. You know, like, I think that's really, like, this is, I think it's a well-targeted, well-done nerf that was needed. Nyx Assassin was a little bit strong. He was getting picked every single game, and now this makes it easier, makes it better. Maybe I, I don't. I don't think it's going to affect his pick or win or lose rate. We'll Ooh. see. All right. Next one is uh, Drow marksmanship bonus is removed when there are nearby enemy heroes instead of just being halved, but the AOE is reduced by 25. So Drow is not in CM, so she's not in the metagame, so it doesn't deserve quite as much talk, I guess, as the other discussions. But uh, I bet this is probably to make way for Drow to be in CM. They're expecting to put her in, in the very, very near future, hopefully. Yeah, this drought, the drought aura, I think it's going to... What it's going to do is it's going to make her better at split pushing, kind of like clinks, and it's also going to mean that um, your positioning in team fights is going to be even more important. I mean, she was already kind of a positioning hero to begin with because she's always been squishy glass cannon material, but now that she needs to be 375... AoE away from enemy heroes position is going to be crucial on her. I mean, she still has the slow to make sure she stays. I mean, she her range is twice what the AoE is. She's able to still maintain her um, marksmanship bonus and attack a hero at the same time. She's just going to have to be more careful about it. I think ultimately this is only going to affect how item her item builds. I think we're going to see in the pro scene people building Boots of Travel and Shadow Blade on her. Shadow Blade to assist in positioning and Boots of Travel rather than building treads first or just, just leaving her boots at normal boots, rushing the shadow blade and then at some point in the course of building her higher tier items, getting those boots to travel so that she can split push. Yeah, she becomes kind of like a nature's prophet with a lot more right click, a silence, and an OP orb effect. Really OP. I like I like the change to Heaven's Halberd a lot. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, no longer spell my manta. This item was already amazing, and now it's more amazing. People should definitely be building it. Like I've I've um I made a post about this on um, somewhere. I don't even remember. I was arguing about it on some forum, and I was like, look at this everything. So now that Heaven's Halberd is not spelled by manta, it's very useful against agility carries like anti mage, who don't who don't build BKB. Another one is Phantom Lancer, Naga Siren. 
um, those kind of heroes who build Manta, like, they can get shut down by Heaven's Halberd. Um, and that just, I, it's great for like, a support hero if you've got a little bit of extra money at the end of the game. It tanks you up, it makes you better against physical DPS, it gives you more utility. Um, it's good on strength carries, especially like Chaos Knight. Nakes benefit from it a lot as it gives them damage, it gives them a slow, it gives them, um, and it gives them evasion, which ups your ESP I, more I know, than anything else. I know else. you're excited. I know you're excited to lecture at Heaven's Halberd, but ultimately, you've. I mean, the way the way this affects the meta game is could be argued as being relatively minor, and I think I think I'm pretty sure it definitely is a minor change, but it'll it'll be it'll be noticed someday ultimately because there aren't a whole lot of things that aren't dispelled by Manta. Like even yeah. even Orchid isn't dispelled is dispelled by Manta. Yeah, I know it's great. My said is good for that reason, and now this means that the disarm is gonna it makes Heaven's Holbert a lot more useful, a lot more viable, which is good because it's a good item. Sorry. Honestly, I didn't know living armor didn't reduce every incoming source of damage. Yeah, before it was only reducing hero damage, hero right click damage, but was not, but was taking away charges for everything. So now it actually blocks damage for those things, which is, an, which makes sense, right? <laughs> like if you're losing the charges, you might I'm as well block the damage, and it even makes the OP skill even more OP because it is incredibly, incredibly, getting a little more incredibly. Yeah, incredibly. OP. Yeah, I mean, it's just strong. I was just playing Treant. That's what I did. I came, I came to doing this from playing Treant, and Treant is so freaking OP. What's that? You want to take this tower? Well, here, go <laughs> ahead and try. We're going to wipe your whole team, and then the tower's going to be full health for the next time. What? Yeah, he's he's great. I'm... <laughs> and also, like, even if you... St in his low cooldown ultimate and everything... I, I don't know. I could talk about Treant being an awesome hero forever. I don't think that's necessary right now. This buff is good. I think people should start picking Treant, because eventually some team is going to figure out how to lane him and how to use him and how to play him, and that team is going to be undefeatable until every other team figures out what's going on. Yeah. Basically. Because Treant has so much potential. Like, if you look at all of his numbers, he has insane stats. He has insane skills that do insane amounts of damage, have insane cooldowns, and people don't pick him. I, I, I think it's just because it's like, I don't know, this, this guy's not the same hero. I don't know what's going on, man. It doesn't work. And so, yeah. Okay. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, so, 6.77c, change log analysis. That was Fopsy. I'm Kingdom. Any last words, Fops? I'll be back. Thank you, Rob Sportsnegger. All right, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Peace out, guys. Thanks.